Hi, this is Melinda, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create a split screen effect in Adobe Premiere Pro CS4. So what we have here on the screen is a video project. It's a standard NTSC 720 by 480 project, and I've imported two video assets into my clip bin here. And if we look up here at the top, we see each of these, uh, they were recorded on my cell phone, are at 640 by 480 and there they are right there and they're two different videos and I've already added them to the timeline here and you may notice my audio is way down here in the bottom that's because these tracks are mono audio and not stereo and these three up here are set as stereo and uh, if we were actually going to use these audio tracks we might go in here and apply an audio effect to make them stereo but we're not going to worry about that for this demonstration. One thing to keep in mind when doing this is you may decide you may need to decide what you want to do about audio if you're going to do this overlaid split screen effect because you're going to have sound from two different tracks. And so here we are we have our two video tracks. Now I've stacked them up on top of each other because they're going to play at the same time in my split screen effect. And if I pull the uh, scrubber here through and we watch on the right hand side of the screen the only video we are seeing is this one up here on the top video uh, 03 because it's uh, at the top of the stacking order so let's see how we can make this into a split screen effect so both of these videos play at the same time so what I'm going to do is double click on this video track and then open up the effects control panel and if for some reason this effects control panel does not come up uh, you can go over here to the window menu find effects control in the list and just hit it once to put the check marks beside it and then it should be available to you and it's kind of counterintuitive but we're going to click the motion twirl down here the motion effect because motion also affects position and size so the first thing we need to do is probably scale this video down so that we can put it beside another video. You can put your mouse over the numbers here and scrub and see how it's scaling now and the other one is behind it. Or you can actually just double click in the box and type in a value and these are percentages. So I'm going to set that one to 50%. Now I'm going to go to my second video which is in the video one track, video 04 and click on that so that I have that up here in the effects control and I'm going to scale that as well and I'm just going to type it in. Now we have these two videos scaled down to half size and they're stacked on top of each other again and let's see what we can do about that. To bring the mouse over here and double click on the top video and we see down here in the timeline that video 03 it becomes highlighted because it's the one on top in the list order here and then I can just grab that with my mouse, hold down my mouse button, and drag it to the position that I want. Then I can come over here and double click on the other one and do the same thing. Now if you want very precise control you can actually go up here and use these little scrubbers to move it around. You can also play with the size settings until you get the effect that you want. And that's all there is to creating a split screen effect.